The other real problem, of course, is in terms of water contamination. And I mentioned the lagoon in Illinois that spilled over. I mentioned the lagoons in North Carolina um, that spilled over. I mentioned the, the spraying of fields. They're called spray fields. Um, and the runoff going into these creeks. There's all kinds of problems with polluting the water system uh, in this method. There's, there is runoff into creeks. Um, a lot of fields have what are called tiles which are natural, they're drains that they put in. So the water will go down and then they'll pipe it out to a culvert and then into a stream. But a lot of times it won't just go into the streams, it will go into the aquifer. And it will pollute and contaminate drinking water. Um, and one of the biggest hazards of that are the nitrates. And if you have a certain concentration of nitrates in drinking water, and this has happened in Indiana, in Ohio, and other places I went to visit, where the drinking water has elevated levels of nitrates. Um, that can cause something called blue baby syndrome, where a young child who drinks that water, they, they have an oxygen deficit and they literally turn blue. Um, it has been associated with diabetes and other uh, neurodevelopmental disorders, possibly even autism, I, I would um, suspect. So the amount of nitrates going into the water in Washington State, where I mentioned, um, most people have city water, but a lot of people have well water. And the people with well water tended to be poor, uh, Native American, Hispanic migrant workers, and they were ordered not only to not use their water, but to not even take a shower with it. That's how contaminated it was. And they had to go out and buy bottled water. It's very much like what's happening in Flint, Michigan right now, but instead of lead, it was nitrates. And um, in that case, they also filed a class action lawsuit under the Clean Water Act and won a lot of concessions from these factory farms. And it was finally determined that the level of nitrates in the drinking water was indeed caused by these factory farmers. Um, there was also the issue of slaughterhouses. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. But slaughterhouses, I, I, as, David, uh, as Stephen mentioned, I write for a website called takepart.com, and I recently did a story about the 10 largest water polluters in the country. And two in the top five were uh, Cargill and uh, Tyson, I believe. And the amount of discharge that they're allowed to put into the water from their processing plants uh, is astronomical. And the EPA is just basically not willing to enforce the Clean Water Act, and they allow these giant companies, these processing plants, to pollute massive amounts of waterways. Um, so you can see the impact on, on wildlife, you can see the impact on drinking water, you can see the impact on air pollution, and this is happening more and more uh, all over the country, uh, particularly in places like Iowa, Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, Illinois, in the South, places like North Carolina, and in places like California and Washington State. <clears throat> but there, there are factory farms just about everywhere these days. Those states have, have the highest concentrations. So the impact on human health, um, there's various ways uh, that this can affect people. Uh, one is the direct impact both on your water quality and on your air quality. It's also an impact in contamination of the food itself. 